Oh, good morning. How are you? There you go. Happy Tuesday. So, sorry I was a little late this morning. I had a meeting that I, I couldn't push back. So, my apologies, but here I am. Here we are. Hope you are ready. It's 11 a.m. here. Um, so, today I thought we could talk about energy vampires. <laughs> Especially since you're at work, probably, right? You know who I'm talking about. It's those people that you are around that you feel drained afterwards, right? They feel exhausting. Um, you may feel like you need a nap or you feel agitated after being around them. They can be drama queens, always having a problem. You know the kind of person I'm talking about, right? Good morning, Jackie. So... These energy vampires, if we allow them, they could really start controlling our lives, taking over, and then we're sucked in to their negative energy. And that's really what it's about. It's, you know, how do we avoid the negative? Good morning, Lisa. How do we avoid the negative energy of these energy vampires? And we all have them. I mean, gosh, they could be your own family. <laughs> It could be your mom, it could be your spouse, it could be your child, your coworker. I mean, my goodness, if you look at it, uh, Facebook is probably the biggest uh, energy vampire of them all, right? Because it can pull at our emotions, it can tug at us, it can um, distract us. So all of those things, you know, if you're surfing the internet or social media and then you're feeling really drained afterwards... You know, it's because, good morning, Nina, it's because you're picking up on the energy vampires. So we have to say, how do we do that? And if you're an empath, right? So let's talk about what an empath is. An empath is someone who can feel the emotions of another, and that happens a lot, okay? So when we're feeling the emotions of someone, when we're tapping in, um, it can, we can take that even more personally. So what we have to do is say, hey, how do we, how do we not allow the energy of others impact us quite so much so that we can have a little bit of sanity? <laughs> okay, the three kind of main tips that, that I, I think that could help is it's called turning your mirrors out. So basically what happens is um, think of your hands as your mirrors, right? And when your palms are facing you, you're, you're pulling in all that energy. You're pulling it in. It's like the, the, it's a magnet and it's, you're pulling it. You're, you're taking it from them. So if you take your hands and turn them out, so it's called turning your mirrors out. Just imagine that, turning your mirrors outwards. That will actually help so that basically they have to look at themselves. So if someone is being an energy vampire, they have to look at themselves. The reflection is back on them. You're not absorbing it. Okay, so that is one way that can help you. And another way is, it's called the clear protection box. So what that would be is, you know, some of you may use a bubble uh, for your protection. You may have heard using a bubble or maybe a cord or white light around you. But there's another way that I find works really, really well, and that's called the clear protection box, okay? So it's like a phone booth. Think of yourself as uh, Superman in the phone booth. <laughs> and you step into this protection box. And stepping into it, you can exude all of your energy out. So it doesn't, it doesn't inhibit you at all. It doesn't hold you back at all. All of your power and energy can go out. But the energy of someone else cannot penetrate the box, okay? So that is a really great one to try at a mall or at a concert. Anything that has a huge a lot of public uh, activity around it. Or if you're in a group and, and you're just feeling pulled, a conference, any of those things can really help. So you have to practice that. It's like a muscle. You can't just expect it to be there and be strong. 
just know good morning denise so just know that when you put up that protection box you know you're gonna have to kind of practice it because as time goes by it, you <laughs> it may weaken uh those vampires uh i'll tell you they they have a way about them <laughs> hi brownie and 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 that's it so it, you know being that empath being that sensitive that you are you you really may be picking up on the sensitivities and energies of somebody else so when that happens you know try turning those mirrors out try doing that protection box now there are the other tools uh saging some people feel that saging really helps there's crystals that help black tourmaline is also known like so if you keep a little black uh a piece of little black tourmaline by your desk at work that may really help um so victoria yeah you're saying that sometimes you need to physically move because it's so strong absolutely so victoria you know try that protection box so when you you're feeling that you know right before you move you know give a minute or two to the protection box just to see if that helps now you may not be able to hold that you know you have to build up build up your your energy to it but try that just to see if you can start practicing it because that that may help hey gloria happy tuesday so you know the thing is people who want drama or want negativity you know they need it it's like their fuel it's like their energy and you know our job isn't really to change them i mean people have to be responsible for themselves right but that doesn't mean you need to listen to it. It doesn't need, mean that you need to take it in. It doesn't mean that you need to hold on to it, okay? You can let the negative energy of people go. So when someone is talking bad about someone or, you know, you can feel it. Right? You'll feel, it just feels a little icky. It, you, you know, you feel a little like, ugh. I mean, that's probably the result. Uh when you have that you're around an energy vampire so that's the time mirrors out box up take your thoughts outside of their place don't don't get pulled into that negative energy okay so um you know and that is that is that helps especially right now i mean the energy around everything everybody you know, in one way it's good because everybody, you know, their senses are so heightened right now. Everybody is, is very touchy feely at the moment. Now, in a way that's actually really good. It, it's, it's good that we're kind of embracing this awareness and we're communicating, um, to a higher degree. So in some ways that's actually really, really good. Um, oh, that's a great question, Keely. I'll answer that. But you know, you just, you don't want to walk away drained uh, you know we we're tired enough <laughs> and and for any of you who are dealing with family and kids and all of that you know your kids could be energy vampires <laughs> i don't have any but from what i heard those little those little guys they can they can really suck the life out of you <laughs> but they can also give you so much wonderful joy. So now Keely asked, hey, what about do Himalayan salts work? I believe they do work, you know? And Himalayan salts can calm energy. Um, so Himalayan salt is more about a calming and healing. Is it gonna take away the energy vampire? No, because I don't know if we can ever take away the energy vampire, but it can negate the negativity in it. I, I believe Himalayan salt lamps are supposed to help with the negative ions. So, you know, that could work for sure. Absolutely. Uh, Lisa's kid. Yeah, see? <laughs> um, so anyhow, you know, for anyone who's at work right now or you're in a space right now where you're dealing with some, you know, energy vampires that are all about them, me, 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 that's how you'll know. Well, me today, me today, it's, it's like, ugh, you know, or so-and-so. <laughs> like people but you know put up your put up your block box uh put out your mirrors and also you know sometimes I, I do know this sometimes if you have a positive energy or you're feeling really good or you have a natural light right your natural vibration is maybe a little higher because it's positive 
Energy vampires will try to dim that. They want to suck that from you because it's fuel for them. They need that, right? So just be mindful if you're feeling someone kind of sucking your energy, just know, hey, mm -mm -mm, you know, that's your energy, that's yours. If you want to give it, give it, but also hold your boundaries, okay, you guys? Hold your boundaries, um, especially when it comes to the energy vampires, because it's not, it won't be reciprocated. You know, their job is not to reciprocate it. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning, Claudia. You know, their job is not to reciprocate the energy. That's why they're vampires. They take it. You know, they suck blood. They suck energy. <laughs> they're not, they're, they're not, um, they're not givers. <laughs> so you're the giver. You know, you're the one. If you understand what I'm talking about, you're the one that is giving your energy. You're the one that is trying to help others. You're the one dealing with this and feeling it. So you can't close off so that you can't live a normal life, right? You can't go, you can't, you know, sometimes uh, I see a lot of empaths say, I don't want to leave the house. I, I can't, you know, I don't want to leave the house because... Um, too much energy. I don't want to go to the mall because of this. I, I don't want to go to that concert because of that. You know, don't miss out on these life experiences because of other people. You know, if you can practice how to hold your own energy and you can practice how to utilize your own protection to, to not absorb that from others, you can enjoy life and enjoy these activities, enjoy this fun that allows you to have experiences you deserve, you know, to be able to live uh, a normal life, or at least quasi-normal. If, if you do this work, you're never going to be normal. <laughs> but that's okay. We're all together. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's talk about energy vampires. I hope, you know, those three tips kind of help you. Try them throughout the day. Practice them. Build your muscles towards protecting yourself. Um, get a piece of black tourmaline if you feel that sage works. You know, you're going to know if it works for you. You're definitely going to know. So find tools that work for you and practice them. Own them. Do it. And I will see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. You're welcome, Bronnie. And thank you guys so much. Thanks for being patient. Sorry I was late today, but, you know, it's still time for coffee. <laughs> All right. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.